this afternoon of Friday, October 29th. Ryan and I are set up on the home farm. We are hunting uh, this creek bottom that we've hunted once before. We had a nice sit a couple weeks back. We basically slip up through the hay field and then just drop down with a north wind blowing back towards the hay and I can set up on this ridge and overlook this creek bottom. It connects up, you can barely see my bean field over there which goes up to the cherry tree. So this is a just big draw that I think Chubbs is betting in sometimes. He was here on this camera down maybe 100, 100 yards or so. He was here two nights ago uh, with some legal shooting light left. And the other two out of three nights, he's been coming out of the other bowl. One time in alfalfa, one time in the turnip plot. So. He's been active three nights in a row with legal shooting light left, so um, I'm just going to get a little more aggressive and stay after him and hopefully we can cross paths. I'd love to at least lay eyes on him. We hunted this morning back on one of the timber ridges that sits above that bowl where I think he's bedding more often than not. And we only saw one fork horn. We slipped around to the south side of the farm and dropped down on a, I got a, a ATV trail that goes through that timber. So we were able to slip up that and hang a set. It was real windy this morning, drizzling. So we got it in clean. It was a beautiful morning. Just uh, didn't see the deer activity that I was hoping for. So we made a move to this end of the farm. And I've got, you know, Chubbs is my number one target, but I also have gotten a few pictures of this buck from last year, never really named him, just called him the six by five. And he hasn't been as active on the farm this year as he was the past two years. But I've got him in daylight twice, once down on this camera, and then once uh, up in this alfalfa clover field up here. Both around six o'clock with plenty of legal shooting. He's another buck I'm really excited to lay eyes on. So I worked the last two days and I wasn't able to get out despite Chubbs being active. So I, now I'm at the beginning of a six day stretch. Hopefully I can uh, get him on the ground.
It's the six by five, I think. He's walking up the trail. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely him. God, look how sweet he looks. We should kill that deer if we can. Younger deer doesn't want any part of that. be chubbed, right? They were going crazy back there. Are you rolling at least? He's just pointed. Pointed at the sound. <laughs> there, 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 there. It's uh, what deer is that? It's Chubbs. Dude, the two shooters. that's one of the movement patterns we're hunting here. 
That three-year-old's a pretty deer, got a lot of pictures of him. And uh, he was working a scrape, and he looked back onto this little knob. And when we first got here, I was telling Rye, I think when, when Chubbs is not bedding in the bowl in the alfalfa, he beds on this little knob on the back side of the bean. And that's why he's always on this camera right here, like relatively close to daylight or right, right before legal shooting ends. That 10 point looked that direction onto the hill at one point. He stopped and he looked like he saw a deer. And I was like, there's gotta be a buck over there. And then he got on the trail and looked down the trail towards that scrape. And he started bristling up. I was like, I could barely see the scrape down there, but I could see that there was a good buck. And then that was the six by five. Once I got a good look at the 6x5, I decided I was going to shoot him. And uh, he's a great looking deer. He's got a bunch of character points, huge mass, and just a huge body. He's six and a half years old this year. I've got three sheds off of him. I got his match set from last year and one shed from the previous year. And uh, he started walking up the trail here. And the 6x5 went in the woods where the three-year-old the three came out. And he was tearing up the same little tree. And then he looked over, and I was like, he's staring at that buck, there's a buck there. I snort wheezed to try to get him to come back out, and all of a sudden, it broke out in a big fight. And it went on for a good 30, 40 seconds probably. They were just pushing each other and clashing together. And I ended up seeing that it was Chubbs, and he beat Chubbs, and Chubbs walked up the hill and then went off. Six by five sat here for a while, there's a doe down there. I don't know if Chubbs was bedded with that doe or if that doe was just, you know, bedded in the area and she went up to the bean field. We saw the 6x5 one more time and he just worked his way up to the alfalfa there. So crazy, I see both bucks. They clash it out. He beats Chubbs. Oh man. So we sat here for the last 20 minutes. I was hoping Chubbs might circle back and pop out on this trail, but we haven't seen him. He went off. Towards uh, the north there. What a crazy experience. Encounter number one with, with both shooters. So, pretty awesome night. We've, we're down to our last 15 minutes, so we'll see if anything else shows up.